Well, my office is centrally located. I'm surrounded by spooks and uh, homeland security and people who run the spy satellite system in the United States, a big government uh, defense contractor. So I tend to keep my blinds closed at all times and think about what I say on the phone and things like that because it is kind of interesting having all these different people around you. It's come about that agencies now contact me for help. Um, and here's how that goes. They'll write me and they'll say, here's a doomsday scenario. The first one they sent me was, how would you blow up the Super Bowl? And they wanted me to come up with a creative way to do it. And then I guess they would take my solution and reverse engineer it to make sure it can never happen. So I was, I was both excited that the government would ask someone like me to help them do that, and I was terrified that the government had to ask someone like me to do something like that, because I figured, don't you have experts? Do you pay for this? I wrote uh, the novel The Whole Truth uh, because I was interested in this idea of perception management. Perception management firms are hired by governments and companies and organizations to create and manufacture truth. They don't spend facts. They're not spend doctors. They are paid to create truth and sell it to the world is real. It's actually absolutely mind-boggling. Nicholas Creel heads up Ares Corporation, the world's largest defense contractor. He doesn't like the world the way it's configured right now. He thinks that little terrorist nations are running the world's agenda and pushing the big boys around. He wants to return us to more of a Cold War atmosphere where the big boys run the world and the only threat we have is nuclear annihilation. And he hires a guy named Dick Pender, the perception manager maestro, to use all of his tactics and strategies to sell the world that we are about on the edge of chaos and everybody needs to arm up again. So Dick Pender does that and I show you exactly how he does it using the techniques that real perception management firms use. And they convince the world that this is the truth. And it's so easy to manipulate people and make them believe something that is not true. It's not even funny. Because in the information age, there aren't millions of places to hide the truth. There are trillions of places to hide the truth. Pick up a newspaper, pick out an important story, and probably half of what's in an important story, regardless of who's reporting it, is totally fabricated. But it sounds true. And is that an important thing for people to know? Yeah. Is it a great basis for a, a novel? Yeah, it is.